Hey everyone, how's it going? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to GPU mine the coin Conceal, and that's going to be with 3 gigabyte graphics cards and higher, and this is a very profitable algorithm in coin. I must say there's a few coins on the actual algorithm itself. The algorithm is called Kryptonite GPU, and it's a, I, I shouldn't say fairly recent, but it's a newer algor algorithm. And it's very profitable with these type of graphics cards, 3 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, and even higher. It's one of the most profitable coins and like algorithms to be mining right now. And it's been consistent that way for like over a month now. If you have went on what to mine recently, you've noticed that you might may have seen it yourself and you may already be mining it. But I'll be going over it in this video. Like I said, the coin is called Conceal Network. That's technically like not the actual name. It's called like Conceal Network or something like that. I just added the coin just to make it easier for you guys to understand. But yeah, I'll be going over all that and I'll be going over the coin website itself and showing you guys about the coin and the wallet and everything. And I've been personally mining it with my 4 gigabyte and 3 gigabyte here. And I'll show you all that with my own wallet. And with this coin, it's very cool feature is you're able to actually within the wallet itself is almost like a bank the more coins you hold the more interest you gain and you can set it aside as a deposit and you gain an interest every month two months three months however long you want to set it and you can lock it away but we'll be explaining all that in today's video and honestly i will say since i've been doing a lot of research i've been mining this coin directly and everything this could potentially be a competitor up there when ethereum goes to proof of stake along with um, its Flux and Ergo and stuff. Uh, a lot of people overlook Kryptonite GPU algorithm and the coins on it, and they're very profitable, and it's a very easy working algorithm on your graphics cards that doesn't produce a lot of heat itself, and it doesn't use a lot of power. But I'll be showing you all that on my monitors and such today. But yeah, we'll go over that right now. So right now, we're taking a look at my GTX 1063 gigabytes, and this is running on Crypto Dredge Miner. And we'll be going over all that. I'll be showing you how to download it. But as you see there with these two cards, and it's not even on full power, I get 1,200 or 1,727 hashes a second, which is about like 1.7 kilo hash just alone from these cards. And it might not sound like a lot, but it's very profitable. But if we go over to my MSI here, we can quickly look at the stats. And you can see it's not consuming a lot of power itself. It's not using a lot of heat. I don't even have any overclocks or anything set because I haven't tried yet. But again, my power limits are set fairly low with these uh, 1060s, just my one at least. Uh, if I wanted, I don't have my mouse hooked up, but I have the other one set at 85 power and such. I'll probably just quickly pause it and plug in my mouse so we can take a look at that. And I switched it over now to my main one on like the main board there on the right hand side. This is the one that I can actually like crank up for say. So it's at an 85% power limit. It's not overclocked or anything like that, as you see here. But right now it's running at 54, 55 degrees. It's not using much power, memory, or anything. It's a very easy going algorithm, but very profitable. So yeah, that's the overall for my GTX 1063 gigabytes. Like I said, I'll be showing you my mining page and wallet, so you guys can see kind of the profits I've been running for the past couple days. I haven't been mining this very long. I just wanted to mine it enough to kind of understand it and research it and make sure it's good enough for everybody here. But now I'm just going to flip over to my GTX 1650 screen, the 4 gigabyte card, the one up there on the left hand side, the one right there, and then we will be able to see the stats for that one. So as I've explained before, this is a GTX 1654 gigabyte, but it's a mobile version. So the power constraints are a little different compared to your standard GTX 1650 or 1660 Super, if you will. But as we see here, we get about 730 uh, hashes a second. So that's pretty like stable and consistent as you see all the accepted shares and how long I've been like running this. But we'll quickly look over at the MSI here. And as you see, this one runs a little bit cooler being just a smaller card itself, as we see here. Just a little mobile one compared to like my GTX 1060s. But as we see, it's using a little more memory, but a little less power on the GPU. And I have no overclock, and my power limits are just like my 1060 pretty much. 85, 83 temp limit, and like 85 fan. 
and all around it's like I said stays pretty cool and consistent and on higher profit days so like the days the algorithms running a little bit more profitable with my GTX 1063 gigabytes so the ones over there uh, they get anywhere from a dollar seven to a dollar eleven each per day and that's when it's running high profits and everything's running smooth on average it usually gets about 98 cents I believe to about a dollar so it's pretty profitable for these lower end cards considering most people I believe pay like anywhere from 10 cents to like 40 cents a kilowatt for hydro I think it is so if you're pulling in a dollar you're profiting like 50 cents at least so it's pretty good for lower end card and then my higher end one here so like the 1650 4 gigabyte like mobile version that pulls in around 85 cents to 90 cents when it's running high profit when it's running low profit around like 80 cents so it's a pretty good like profit margin for both of these considering I don't pay power but even if you were to pay power it's still a pretty good deal I'll post a link to miner stat in the description so you can uh, put in your information and power consumption to see if it's profitable for you but like I say take miner mining stat with like a grain of salt because it is up and down with like the range on profits it doesn't take in pool fees and other things it just gives you like the straight profit with your hydro rates so just take it lightly maybe add or remove a few cents depending on your region but like I said overall it's a great like algorithm and coin to mine so now we're gonna get into the actual tutorial part and how to set this up and looking at my profits and looking at the page itself all right so now we're over on the computer here and we're just gonna check out the conceal network website and we're just gonna go over what the coins about and like what wallet you need and just information about it here so on the website here as you see it's loaded up this is the page you're gonna come to it's privacy protected DeFi, decentralized finance private transactions and encrypted messaging so it's a few features into one its main focus is being privacy like totally anonymous you can't trace it things like that but we'll go more in depth as we go down further on the website here so as you see there's a few options right off the top here cloud C live wallets roadmap we'll kind of be going through a little bit of each thing as we scroll down here so as we scroll down, it's going to talk about what the coin is actually about. So Conceal Network is a secure peer-to-peer -peer privacy framework empowering individuals and organizations to anonymously communicate and interact financially in a decentralized and censorship-resistant environment. So it wants individuals and organizations to anonymously communicate and interact financially, so moving money and things like that. It wants to do this in a censorship-resistant environment, so that way there's no censorship, anything can really go on with the transactions and such, and anyone can store the money anywhere, as you'll see here. So Conceal Network powers the CCX cryptocurrency, which is Conceal Cryptocurrency, which is an open source privacy protected digital cash system that mimics physical cash. Nobody knows where you store or spend your CCX. All transactions, deposits, and messages on the Conceal Network are untraceable, tamper-proof, and operate with no central authority through the use of cryptograph protocols. So their main focus is everything is untraceable, it's anonymous, it's tamper-proof, and a big feature is like the messaging. You can message within the blockchain, so it holds messages, but you can't tell like on the blockchain, you can't go back and track who it's from and such. It's only if you go peer to peer. So if you have that uh, address and contact saved, it will pop up saying you have a message from so and so. But it's all encrypted messaging as it says, a truly private, decentralized, anonymous, untraceable, and end-to-end -end encrypted messaging service that operates on the blockchain while allowing messages that self-destruct. So even after you send messages, you can set a timer where they self-destruct after a certain amount of time. So that way, it's uh, it truly fully stays anonymous everything stays hidden it's untraceable it all gets removed from this blockchain so it's a lot of true technology and just to back it up it's been around since 2018 and they continue to put out features and they have a whole roadmap so we'll be looking into that so that way like you guys know it's a trusted like I guess company and network running this type of thing it's not just a coin that popped up recently and it's totally like lost its thing it's been around since 2018 and it's built itself up and it's still not even to the full potential I think so as we scroll down here you're gonna see something called the compound interest calculator and this is their like how they want to act like a bank system so as you see there's different tiers you can go ahead and punch in like different amounts at the top here 
but it goes to a month to month basis. And depending how much you hold in your wallet, it's depending how much interest you'll actually make per month. And as you see, the longer you lock it away, the higher interest rate it is. So two months, three months, four months, five months, so on and so forth, you see the interest gets higher and you get more in return. And especially too, if you deposit more, so like if you have like 9,000, let's say, you'll get more interest back. So if you scroll down a little bit more using conceal wallets, so this full node local wallet, so just your basic Windows wallet, Linux, Mac. There's light wallets, so they're cloud-based, light, like light versions of the wallet, so it's not like the full blockchain download. It's uh, compressed, so it's light, it's easy to do. It's uh, hosted on the cloud. There's also an Android app, and there's a cloud app, and there's other types of wallet. There's paper, Chrome extension, Firefox extension. What I did, if you scroll down here, as you see here, there's an actual, like, app that has like all the features within itself and we'll be able to download that if you scroll down a little bit more as you see the conceal app windows desktop linux mac web version android i use the windows version here and once you have it downloaded it's literally just like this here so all you would do is click like the version you need and then download it and then install it and then follow like there's like a sign up you can do with like your email or something like that just to secure your wallet so everything stays encrypted there's two-factor authentication but i'll quickly skim over all of that i have it downloaded and been running it just so you guys can see it's fully working and it's fully good but as you see you have your wallet features you can create multiple wallets if you want and then, like I said, we can get into the mining aspect here, but I'll be going over all that a little more in depth here. And then the different mining pools, but I'll be going over that itself. And then the exchanges, if you want to have a wallet on an exchange, or if you just want to go ahead and sell it as you mine it, or whatever you want to do, it's on Trade or Trade.org, Hotbit, Stex, and Bitmart. So there's a few different exchanges already. None of the main ones yet. So like I said, if it does get posted on main one, that's going to help it. It's been around since 2018, so it's built up an actual foundation. You can buy it with Ethereum, with BNB. It's all like the chain linking and stuff like that, I believe it's called. We scroll down a bit more here. Milestones and roadmap. So as you see, they started back in 2018 with their initial commit, and that's what started everything. And as you see, there's been a lot of production since then each month almost at this rate and then they went into 2019 2020 2018 into 2020 then 2021 and then 2022 where we currently stand so they're even doing more even into further years so they started back in 2018 and continue to keep on going you could fully check this out yourself i've already checked it out myself and went through the whole roadmap and seen and it's a good project. There's a lot of potential with it. As you see, even in quarter three of 2022, they're going to bridge to Ergo and AVAX just because they're a lower end GPU mineable coin, but also higher end. So kind of like Ergo and Flux and things like that. So I imagine all these type of coins are going to coincide with each other once uh, Ethereum goes proof of stake. If that's within June or if it's pushed back either way, it's a good time to collect up some of these coins and just set them aside. Right. And that's why I'm making these videos. But as you see, they still have all the way up to 2028, and they even have to be announced, so even further on. So there's a lot of like potential with this. They're a legitimate project. There's a lot backing it. It's a built community already. And I just wanted to go over this. Sorry if it ended up being a bit long, like going over this website. I just wanted to show you guys it's like legitimate. It's a good, stable thing to get into if you're interested in it. But like I said, I personally am mining it directly. And hopefully once this Ethereum thing sh shakes off and once it all shifts around, it could be a potential like um, threat for, I guess, the crypto network and w where all mining power goes. Because as we went over, it's easy on the power consumption and heat and things like that. And I forgot to mention at the start, no, this is obviously not like any type of paid promotion or anything like that. I just found this coin and fi simply found it interesting and figured to share it. Because like I said, it's profitable, it's something to mine, especially if 3 gigabyte cards, 4 gigabyte cards, you know. And you can even use 6, 8, whatever gigabyte cards you want. But I focus on these lower end ones and it's very profitable with these lower end ones even. So as I've mentioned, this is on the Kryptonite GPU uh, algorithm. So if we go over to Awesome Miner here, we can see a list of a few different miners. It's not a wide variety. But the ones I recommend using, especially if you're on NVIDIA, is Crypto Dredge. That's the one I've been using. And then AMD, I recommend using SRB Miner. And then you can just follow along to whichever uh, 
one you're using and just apply the settings to it. So I'm going to be focusing on using NVIDIA for this tutorial with the Crypto Dredge. But if you're using AMD, it'll be a pretty similar setup. I assume, like I said, I don't use AMD myself, so I personally don't really focus on it. But with the Kryptonite GPU algorithm, there's a few other networks, uh, few, sorry, a few other coins on the algorithm that are linked to Conceal Network. So I, I forget the exact names, but you could take a look at them on some mining pools, or if you just directly look up the algorithm, it'll show you a list of different coins that are on it. But the main one that I see potential with is Conceal Network. So what you want to do is once you decide on your miner, you can get SRB, but like I said, Crypto Dredge is what we're going to focus on. You just want to go here to the Crypto Dredge website. I'll post a link in the description. And this is just going to be the home page. It's very straightforward. You can click Get Now or just click Latest Version. And then it will download. So if we click Get Now. And then it will link the actual like downloads per your device. So Windows or Linux. And then depending on your CUDA version. So if you have a different CUDA version, I believe there's a GitHub which I will link with other CUDA versions for Crypto Dredge. Just in case you have an older CUDA version. But once you find out whichever operating system, you just click on it and it will download just as so. And then we'll let it download and I'll show you how to get that set up. So once you have it downloaded here, you just want to right click on it. And then whatever extraction tool you have, so 7-zip, WinRAR, or whatever, you just want to go hover over it and then extract to then the folder name. And then once it's done extracting, do not click and open up the folder yet. Click on your start menu button and then go down to settings. And then once you're done, once you clicked on that, click update and security and then click windows security wait for that to load virus and threat protection and then manage settings right under virus and threat protection settings scroll down a little bit and then you go to exclusions and add or remove exclusions click yes on the pop-up add an exclusion add folder and then you go to wherever you downloaded it and then double click on it and click select folder and that will exclude it so that way it can bypass the firewall and such just because it's not a verified publisher. And then once you have done all that with the Windows settings, you can just double click and open the folder. And you can have a bunch of different batch files here. What I recommend doing is going into the readme uh, file here. You scroll down and you're going to see a list of different algorithms. You might be like, where's Kryptonite GPU? The short form for it is CNGPU. So that's the one we're going to focus on. So just keep that open because you'll need that just for the batch files. So what you want to do is just select a random batch file. It's just easier. You right click on it and click edit. And then you'll edit it with notepad or whichever one you're using. And then what you want to do here is open up the readme. And then right click on the CN GPU and copy that. And then first thing you're going to do is replace the Kapow with CN GPU. And that's just going to change the algorithm so it's mining kryptonite GPU. And then, of course, at the top here, you can change the title to um, Conceal Network if you want. And then put CCX and then whatever pool that you're going to use. But I'm going to show you the pool to use and everything. But before we go any further, I'm going to show you the actual wallet here. So we're just going to minimize that for now. Minimize that. And if you go back to the Conceal website and we scroll down, like I said, you just download... The wallet app and then install it just follow the on-screen instructions i just don't want to fit that in because i feel like it'll be a long part of the video but once it's downloaded you'll have the conceal app shortcut right here you just double click on that you might have to create an account and get your wallet set up but once you have your account created and such you will see right here your first page is going to be the news page and as you see it's active and such sometimes it's a little glitchy and then once like uh you get up and running it will fix itself because it's still in the works. It's still a newer app that they've built. But as you see, it's an active community. This is the Reddit, YouTube, things like that. But then once you do have it open and signed up and you're installed and ready to go, you go to wallets. And you're not going to have a wallet here. What you want to do is click create wallet. And it's going to set you up a wallet. And then simply all you do is click copy address. And then you're going to copy the address of the actual wallet. And then you can go up here and put that right in uh pass the username here so after dash you just paste the wallet it's a little bit longer of a wallet address but just put that there so that way that part's done but before we go any further i just want to show you this wallet here so as you see you're going to have a thing called deposits and this is where you're going to gain like your interest so if you wanted you can select your wallet i don't have very like too much yet i'm still just mining it i think i started two days ago according to my transactions so you can click max and then you scroll down and as you see you can go per month so one month 
and it shows you down here your rate of interest and how much you're going to get depositing it for that month so kind of like a bank you know what i mean that's what they want to do but it's fully anonymous so no one will see this you can set it all the way up to 12 months and obviously the more you deposit the more you have in some tier list right here tier one tier two tier three and depending how much you hold it says at the top here so depending how much you hold is how much you can deposit and gain from it but yeah that's going to be your main wallet as you see i have some that's been coming in consistently i get paid usually about every hour and that's direct mining it and i've been mining that for about two days as you see and if you were to click on the blockchain and see a lot of the information is anonymous and it's just like encrypted and such but with that out of the way we can close that down and go back to focusing on setting up the actual mining software here so the next thing we'll need is an actual mining pool as you see this one's on like a raven one but the one i use here is hero miners and if you followed my other tutorials i've used this before with like flux and other coins so once you're on the home page here you can click the start right at the top here and it's going to bring you to this page here and as you see there's a good handful of different locations so depending on your location or region select the one closest to you or wherever you're located in so for my example canada i chose the canadian one and then for your port number you do this so for example We'll highlight the Canadian one here because that's my region and you place that right there. And then you have your port number. So 1115 or whatever there, you copy that and you paste that right there. And that's going to be pretty much your wallet setup. But there's one thing most people are going to, uh, are used to leaving the password as uh, dash PX. But as you see here through the setup, we'll scroll down just a little bit. They don't have the config for uh, crypto dredge, but it's the same setup. So as you see down here, your password's actually going to be your worker name in this aspect. It's just how the blockchain and network set up. So for example, if I was doing my 1650, I could put my worker name there. And that's how you're going to set up your worker name so you see your information. So it's a little bit different of a setup compared to a normal config. That's why I wanted to go over it. But just make sure you have dash a c n gpu kryptonite gpu you have your pool set up to your location closest the port number will be the same for all locations it's just going to be a different location marker at the start here as you said as we see here d e f i r u all depending on the region and then want to make sure you have your wallet address and then you did that by copying it uh, from the wallet app there as i showed you guys and then your password is going to be the worker name so just make sure you have all that and then once you do you can click file save and then you can go ahead and rename it if you want but just remember it like that or you can go ahead and rename it to kryptonite gpu or whatever pool or whatever you want to set it as and all you would do is double click it and it would pop up running like i showed you at the start of my video with my mining rigs you'll have it up and running it'll show accepted share your card will like um have a high hash rate with this even if it's lower and just because it's built strictly for gpus and it's meant to be gpu profitable so there's always going to be a way for it to be profitable i hope so that's why i say the potential for it to be like an ethereum type of thing and then once you get mining and once some shares are accepted and such you just click back on the home page on the hero miners website here you scroll down and then what you're going to do is right here you're going to put your wallet address so i have mine in there and this is my current stats and what I've been pulling in lately. And this is an American dollar. I'm Canadian, so it ends up being more. So right now I'm close to like $2 or more, obviously, if you've seen in my wallet there. So as you see, it's hourly payouts and all you need is 0 0.1 um, CCX. So it's a very lower payout. It's nice. It's good for lower end miners even and even higher end miners because you can get a lot. Like my unconfirmed is 0 0.5. And then 0 0.09 so i always have some every hour going in and paying myself out and then if you scroll down you can see how much you're earning per day per week per month each worker name so you can make sure everything's running fine how much power is going to each one how much you contribute to each block and how much you're getting rewarded and then your payment history as you see it's been consistent payouts every hour on the hour even sometimes twice in the hour 
So it's been very consistent. It's been good. It's been good for two days. Like I said, I just wanted to make the video so you guys can see. So that way you can make some profit and hopefully this thing, you know, goes well for you. Because like I've said in the past, I'm just all about like really making the profit, going where the money is. And with uh, Ethereum coming up with the proof of stake potentially, there's a lot of shake up in the crypto network. Are miners going to sell their GPUs? Are GPUs going to be really cheap? Are coins going to take off? Are coins going to drop? Is profitability going to go out the window? There's a lot to take and play, and I might even make a video on it myself if you guys want, on going over just the whole Ethereum thing and what coins to focus on maybe. I'm not saying to go ahead and, you know, it's not like, I guess you could say it's not financial advice or not mining advice 100%, but we can just go over the coins and go over and, choose which ones are going to hopefully be the most profitable come Ethereum change if that even happens because there's talk of it being pushed off. But yeah, hopefully this wasn't too long of a video, wasn't too rambly for you guys. I just, when it comes to mining a specific coin, I like going in depth with it and showing you guys like the in-depth and the actual background of the coin so you know it's a legitimate project, things are legitimate with it. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so I know it's helping you out and you're enjoying this type of content. But that's all I got and I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.